Hey, Al Jones here from Master Guide Game Calls, CT Trapper Man. Uh, what I got in my hand here is uh, a hen bitcher turkey box call. I started building the hen bitcher, I believe, back in 1998. It was a pretty good selling call back then, and uh, haven't made any in a long time. And a lot of guys ask me about uh, making a video on how I make turkey calls. So we're going to come back out with the hen bitcher and uh, we're going to do a little video on how I, how I make it.
basic uh, six pieces for your six piece. Got two sides, bottom, two end blocks, and uh, the lid we just made. These uh, end blocks are cut at 10 degrees. And on your bottom piece, I use a 1 8 inch router. Cut two slots in there, except your sides. Alright, we'll take one of our sides and slide it into our jig here for burning. We're going to take our stamp. Make sure it's going the right way. Pull that out of there. Now we got our hen bitcher stamp all set to go. All right, I got a pattern here that I use for my sides. I'm put that on there. Make sure it's all square. Trace that pattern on there. That's where we're going to take off. freehand a lot of my stuff on the sander. I don't use a router for everything. So we're going to just do the bottom here. We'll round off the sides. Let's fit all our parts. Make sure everything fits good. Yeah, everything fits nice and tight. Alright, we'll glue that up. Yeah, it's a pretty important step to making a turkey call is getting your, your edge on here correctly. So I'm going to use a 80 grit sandpaper to put that edge on there real quick. Side. Now, if it looks like I'm doing this real fast, just because I've done a few thousand of these. Good. All right, we're going to use a Type Bond Three glue. That's a waterproof glue. And that's what you need. Keep them nice and waterproof. None of your joints are going to fall apart. All right, now it's time to glue everything up. Make sure you get that glue down in that joint. 
spread it out nice, nice, nice. Looks good. Cover these end box real good. So you got 100% contact with your glue and wood. Make sure everything lines up nice and square. All right. Now we're gonna clamp. First, we're gonna clean up a little bit of glue on this. I got a wet rag here, wet paper towel. Get any glue off. Anything sticking out there? Clamp them down nice, tight. Also clamp the sides after we clean up the glue off them. Paper towel will take any any excess glue right off. You won't, you won't see it in the in the finish when you're done. and tight. Nice and tight. I usually take these ones off. You get a little bit of glue squishing up in the end block on top. I'll wipe that off. It's nice and clean. Put that right back on. Same on the other side. Good. I'll let that dry. Alright guys, we got the claw out of the clamps. Glue's all dry. Now we're going to put a 3 8 hole in the end block here to accept the uh, spring. Alright, 
here's the hole for the spring. Now we got to put a hole in there for the uh, screw. Time to assemble this call. So we're going to put our spring down in the hole, put our lid on top of that, number six cabinet screw. Screw that down, take a peek at it. Now we're going to adjust it. All right, we got everything put together. Now we just got to make it sound good. And a little tweak here and there. spot right there. Alright, all we gotta do is put some finish on it. What I use is a waterborne polycrylic. Put three coats of that on, sand it in between, and your call is good to go.